Hi folks and welcome to another unpacking video. Today this massive uh, parcel just arrived from uh, RBO. That's uh, one of a number of parcels that are currently on the way. Um, a lot of stuff for other people. Uh, let's have a look what's inside. So let's see what 198 euros of postage are giving us. That's 11 kilograms. That's probably one of the biggest parcels I've ever had from RBO. Paper. All right. So I've ordered uh, a bit of cable. Just uh, I was running out of cable, and it's not so easy to buy it by the meter here in New Zealand. So I just got this from RBO. So all different, all sorts of different colors. Also some uh, cable sleeving in different sizes, just to make my own looms. Okay, uh, what have we got? IMO oh, cables. These are just uh, for uh, handlebar switches, grey, grey and black. Oh, actually, no, that's the, that's a grey handlebar switch cable, and that black stuff is actually uh, HT leads. Uh, thick ones for the motorbikes and thin ones for the mopeds. I think those would be light bulbs. A whole set of cables. These will be for my Barry's VS50D. Cool. Uh, brake shoes, also for uh, Barry's VS50D. Ah, the new catalog. I hope this is not more than a kilo and pushed me over the 10 kilo mark. Alright, what have we got in here? Ah, very important. That is very important. Come up. So this is the most important part for me. This is a uh, con rod for uh, my TF engine, which was blown up not too long ago. So that looks all right. So, but what we're actually going to do, we'll actually probably do a stress test on this um, to make sure everything works fine. Oh God, that um, that con, that that side, that looks a bit, it's a bit tight. But uh, I'll, I'll leave that with my, with my mechanics for my repair for my TF engine. What have we got in here? That's again for Barry's VS50D for the, for the front fender, the trim. Oh. Set of uh, spokes. Um, so this is the for the VS uh, 50D as well. For the, uh, the, the rims are in here as well, as you can see. Um, so these are the ones with the reinforced rear rear uh, spokes. Uh, the regular spokes are just not doing it. My mate uh, Gary had a complete wheels built with RBO years and years ago, and they weren't using those uh, reinforced spokes at the time and he had nothing but trouble constantly breaking rear spokes so this will be good having the reinforced rear spokes there's not much left now a few things for uh for my uh, mate simons he bought himself a, uh, an sr and restoring it so here's the uh the taillight uh, uh, lens and also for the number plate and uh, uh, all sorts of rubber bits for the scooter and then we're coming to the rims. Obviously those new rims, um, they're great, but um, if, you, if you consider buying them, the original VS rims have a square profile, whereas these aftermarket ones are, are half round profile. So they don't look quite original, but Barry's rims were completely shot, and so he needed to go new, and that was really the only option for him going with new, new rims and I don't think there's anything else in here. I think that's about it. Yep, that's the rims and then we come to the end of the parcel. So as usual now I'm weighing all the parts uh, so I can figure out who pays what share of the postage and uh, then I'll distribute them to my friends. Cool.